We'll get to that in a moment. Right now, though, it's 732, and after months of virtual learning, some students in Virginia Beach are returning to classrooms this morning. Leaders spent months planning and debating. The challenge has been to figure out a plan to safely transition some children to in-person instruction during the pandemic. But COVID concerns are still top of mind for many, and some still wonder if this is the right move. Tell your side's Kiana Patterson live in Virginia Beach with a look at what families can expect today. Kiana? Yes, we're outside of Kinsville Meadows Elementary School ahead of students coming back to class. We can see some staff members are here preparing for the day ahead, but we are told some teachers are worried about the case numbers. Now, the Virginia Beach Education Association represents about 1800 school staff, and that does include teachers. That organization is concerned on whether schools should reopen for in-person classes. We spoke with the union president, Kelly Walker, and she says many teachers have not been vaccinated. Walker also says 225 teachers have retired or resigned from July until December. I think there's just a real fear that a lot of employees have had to choose between their health and their job. There is a real fear that during the surge that um, you can't contact trace appropriately. Um, <laughs> you, you, you just don't know um, who's got COVID. And Superintendent Dr. Aaron Spence says teachers with medical conditions or concerns will be considered on an individual basis, but he also says teachers have a responsibility to be in the class for face to face learning. Spence insists that the district will practice CDC guidelines to protect against COVID outbreaks. Now, coming up in just 30 minutes, you'll meet a student and his mom. You'll hear what his mom's concerned about. For now, I'm Virginia Beach, Kiana Patterson. Turn on your side.